Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the replay playthrough of Tomb Raider Remastered. Second game, we just started the um, DLC, the Golden Mask DLC. Uh, pre ending of the previous episode. I hope we did a thorough job. We cleared the underwater section here. That's where we started. There was a shark and there are quite some, whatever they are, pumas or tigers or big cats roaming around here so no no here i hear another one it's a little bit annoying there are way too many if you ask me they pop up all over the place <laughs> ah but you can actually shoot them with one bullets you can down them <coughs> We are just like the main game going for 100% pickups. We need to have, holy shit, 71 pickups. That's quite a lot. Did we already? Yeah, so the secrets, they have a little uh, different symbol. They're not dragon statues. They are coin, a little heap of coins. All right, over here, there will be some rolling Boolers, I think. Ah, no. Uh huh. Just making sure. No. Trick walls. I thought there would be another pack of shotgun shells here. Because we already... Oh shit, there's one. Where the hell is he? Uh, they really cannot easily jump over. Yeah, fuck me. This is just a waste of bullets. They cannot easily jump over um, yeah, little ledges like this, apparently. Uh huh. All right. I wanted to side jump, it didn't work, but luckily, stepping aside was sufficient. Oops! Almost uh -huh. wasted another shotgun shell. I pressed the interaction button. Wow. Having a weapon equipped, which actually then defaults to. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the hell? I'm, I was like purposefully waiting till he was super close to be able to kill him with one shot. And then it randomly doesn't work. It's so annoying. Why wouldn't that work? Not work. <laughs> Am I waiting too long? What the hell is up with this? The other one I shot in one um, with one blast or killed with one blast. Maybe I already shot that one before. I don't know. I don't remember. But <laughs> right. Let's just assume they take two hits. Uh, but anyways, if you hold the interaction button while having weapon equipped, if you want to pick up an item. Then it actually defaults to... The uh -huh. shooting uh, function. So you have to unequip your weapon. Which I do like in this game. That you have to do that manually. It's much better for immersion I find. I also really like game shooters. Where you can actually holster your weapons. Some of them you cannot. But for instance I think Crisis or... Um, Metro, you can holster your weapon, which is really, I find nice for, oh shit, oh, oh, nice, again, I totally screwed up, but somehow it rolled past me, all right, um, I think another one will pop out here, let's make sure we didn't miss anything, um, but what I want to say, yeah, it's just nice for the quiet times, 
that you just can not always on edge with your weapons drawn and ready for the gunfight, but sometimes just um, holster your weapons and just more casually walk around. And I find it nicer if you can do that manually instead of, for example, I can also imagine that games have an auto holster functionality. Yeah, that's also in, in real life, it's not like your guns auto holster your themselves. So, oh, fuck me. I forgot about this one. Nope, wrong button. <coughs> I am pretty certain that some other boulders will come along here. Or maybe not. Holy shit. Right, I think this is where I died yesterday. So this is as far as we got. When at the ending of the previous episode, I decided to only get through this first ice section, but then I died and I was like, no, let's leave it for the next episode, which is now. Right, so these DLCs, apparently it is much more, yeah, maybe not action focused, or maybe it is, but much more condensed into smaller areas. And I do notice that with much more pickups compared to the main game. Apparently they are very um, nice. Although personally, I don't like this first level part that much. Too many tigers just popping up. Too many I find annoying boulders rolling out of nowhere. Here, like for instance now, what the hell? Are we fighting someone? Music seems to suggest as much. Um, but maybe the first impression is wrong and it is going to be Super cool. At least I do like the name, the setting, Cold War. Don't really know much about the backstory. <coughs> there is a loading screen which has like a paper clipping, uh, something <coughs> about Cold War is about to start. But that's <coughs> about as much <coughs> information as the game gives you. <coughs> ah, I see some Russian text. And I assume there will be enemies here. Otherwise, I really don't understand that music, uh, that uh, yeah, musical cue. Yeah, that's what I mean. guy hopefully this level will not be full uh -huh. of these guys i really don't like the shooting mechanics that much <coughs> give me nice old age ancient tombs to oh my god annoying tombs to explore <coughs> instead of these annoying bastards uh -huh. Also a bit annoying, often their pickups, they clip in their, into their bodies. Making it quite easy to overlook one, uh, some. <coughs> but maybe I'm being overly harsh, maybe it will be an amazing level, I don't know.
not sure what that means. I throw sa or something. Again, amazing upscaling of the textures. Pretty much the exact same vibe. Just more sharp. Making sure there are no secret areas. And I think we are good to continue. Sorry, I'm saving a little bit much, but... That's just me. Alright, this is probably... Is this a point of no return? No, it's not. That's nice. I also really like that of the, of the previous... No, the last main level, floating islands. Where initially I thought we couldn't backtrack all the way from the end to the start to m pick up missed items. But in the end, it appeared we could, which was really quite nice. All right, so we have a cable car at the top or a cable uh, line, or just a cable. Cable line seems a little bit double speak. Yeah, personally not maybe the greatest fan of these ice levels. I don't know why. Alright, so that's just a little circle path. Items can be below them or they can hide a secret opening. we push this one we are on flat level right flat surface ah there it's not flat maybe we can push it the other way lara is not on flat surface but the chest is oh nope you cannot if lara stands on uneven surface you don't even get the push or pull animation like this one uh-huh so that was quite a lot of work a bunch of shotgun shells Do we want to indeed take that right immediately down wherever it leads or do we want to jump off 
in between could very well be if we jump up on that little middle edge that, we, that there are items over there instead of going all the way down of items lying around. Also a lot of medipacks here, so wouldn't surprise me if some fighting is coming up. Uh -huh. Almost fell into the hole. jump off do we want to jump off in the middle I don't think so the first yeah there is a flat spot there actually and there is a second flat spot at the end anything here think so that's where we came from sometimes easier to recognize items <coughs> oh shit holy fuck don't drop down Those skills in the pockets. All right, I have no idea what to do. I'm just going along. That bird nose dived right into the ice. Oh, wrong button. More. Where is it? There it is. Only four bullets left. I have the feeling that we're constantly picking up shotgun shells, but apparently not that much. All right, let's just um, see where this leads us. Oh, that was stupid. But I do want to first see if we can get off on the first. Artist. 
Uh, we could have probably, if we went all the way to the back, we would have ended up here anyways, I guess. Uh -huh. So how many does that give you? We had four, we had yeah, only two. Uh, so that is where you would have stopped anyways, I guess. The end. Oh, fuck. Yep. What do you want me to do? Ah, nice. And an M60. Uh -huh. Pretty damn nice. Although the weapon itself, it's really only useful at range when you are in a safe spot because running around and pressing fire it takes forever for the weapon to uh, start shooting way too long compared to Uzi's or automatic pistols you really have to be stationary to use this weapon effectively but then it is quite powerful and I think also it has quite good range. Alright, like often in this game, from a distance it looked way bigger, this whole ravine, than once you're actually there. Compared to when you're actually there. Alright, also saving a lot because if I die, it's very easy when you already picked up something and that you think, ah, I already picked it up and then you die and you didn't save yet and you reload and then you forget to re-pick up your item because you are thinking like, yeah, I already picked that up earlier. So, good practice to save often. Alright, so we have a, uh, that's probably the main pathway, I don't know. And probably going down here is not a good idea, or is it? No, I don't think so. We could try. Let's just make sure, just in case there is something, a secret area there. Otherwise, I will only notice that at the end of the level and have to backtrack all the way to here. Because we can stand over here, for example. And then, is there any opening here? Ah, and we can. This is a climbable wall. Which really did, doesn't look climbable to me, if you ask me. Here, this is what I mean. Nice. If I wouldn't have done this, I would have missed it. And we have to, had to... Would have had to backtrack. kidding me only a bunch of shotgun shells uh -huh. ah no here it is secret item uh -huh. all right going good i must say already two items two secret items Now we are back in that starting area, I think. By the way, I have to remember...
or I already climbed that before. That's yes, we already climbed this before. So why couldn't I just get there from here? Probably too steep of an incline. Yes, but I could have seen that there was something there, that ledge over there. Anyways, pretty happy with finding that secret. And also very good learning moments. These climbable, climbable walls really do not always look climbable. I had the same issue with an earlier level where a texture that, that yeah, really the game normally climbable walls have like this like leather texture or like really with ridges and this one really didn't have it it was in the um, I think the level before Temple of Xi'an also with uh, a Tibetan or the Tibetan monastery or something it's, uh, before or after that one there was a last secret all at the end just before you hit uh, climbed uh, jumped towards uh, a ladder descended and ended the level and I spent hours trying to find the secret area and it was just literally like a rock texture that was basically the same as all the others but slightly darker and that turned out to be climbable uh, you really have to know that i i do f i'm pretty sure i figured that out by myself so happy with that but Um, I just as well couldn't have because I was on the brink after hours and hours of running around. Yeah, so it doesn't. Ah, I wanted to say it doesn't reset, but it does because it's over there. Um, after hours and hours of running around, I was on the brink of just looking it up, and then somehow my eye fell onto it, and I was like, okay, let's try if we can interact and we could. So that's really. A learning moment from my side. Climbable walls sometimes really do not look climbable. Alright, let's get all the way to the end. What do we have here? We already, that's where we got the um, M16. <gasps> oh, I thought that would be a death <coughs> full it's pretty satisfying sound in this game when you shoot glass all right does the other one end up same area. <laughs> the other glass pane almost looks a bit like uh, Arkham Asylum. Somehow I find. All right, we have a key, but it's already open. This door. And we can get further into this complex. There are some items over there, but uh, let's pick it up immediately. But there was also a way down uh, below through this complex to the right, which we still have to figure out. So probably that door we will need to open. Aha. Uh -huh. Holy shit, it's much bigger than I expected. So, 
pretty sure we will need to open up this one one way or another. Nothing there. We cannot jump over there and we cannot jump over there. So basically the only relevant thing here for now is a door. And what about the ledge over there? Is that just environment building or probably in the end we will be up there maybe. Once we open up that door, maybe we can jump on a platform behind this slope and then get up there, maybe. Or we can immediately get there. And there is no room, or is there? to move it all the way out, because this is not level surface, so we can only push it in this one. <coughs> Pretty good that the remastered devs could read the lettering on there and actually sharpen it up. Trina or Tripa. That A, I wouldn't say that the last letter here, one to the sixth letter is an A. And the four is totally illegible in the original graphics. If you ask me. All right, if I jump over here, are we in a point of no return? All right, this is again climbable. The other side, I'm not sure. Only one way to figure out what we have. Is this one climbable? I doubt it. Nope. Is there anything here? Nope. really cannot move the camera one bit. I wanted to check out the sides, but <coughs> not possible. God damn it, we should be able to hold that ledge. If you ask me. All right, we cannot hold that ledge, so yeah, I don't really see a way to the other side, to be honest. But then I'm really wondering what is the use of that crate there and this was there a goodie there i don't even remember 
Was there a shotgun shells behind that crate? Otherwise I see no use for this ravine thing, which can be totally fine, but usually stuff has a use. we cling on that side now it is too we cannot ha hold on to these uh, sloped ed uh, edges right I'm gonna leave this for now but we have to because this is quite early in the level or uh, not super early but quite early we have to remember that there is something here which could hide um, an item or something a secret area a passageway whatever I think we're pretty good here. Pretty nice um, skybox, very reminiscent to Skyrim's skybox. And there's actually something in the air up there. Looks like one of the stars are to the left as well. Two of the stars are black instead of white. Or it's just a smudge on my screen, but I doubt that. have used the M16 at range probably. Wrong button, get damage. Right. He's not coming into that doorway. Not sure why. Uh -huh. Key in the pockets. Guard room key. <laughs> Alright, that's probably that lock that we saw. Man, that guy is making weird noises. And what opened up? I'm not too sure. God damn it. Right, there is 
the keyhole let's what opened up is the question What opened up? Was it this one? Probably. Let's check it out. Let's just double check it. Why not? I mean, I... There's one thing I really don't have enough of, that's time. But... Uh, it is Sunday. 2.30pm. I still have some time to just mess around. Alright, so this door to the left will open up or close. Hmm, nothing is happening. That's probably one of those that are only single use. <coughs> I didn't really see any other door, so I'm pretty sure it was that one. If you are shooting with this weapon, you only want to... Holy shit. Who had an angle on me? You only want to um, shoot and casually walk. Back or forth. You don't want to run. You cannot shoot uh -huh. this weapon while running. Forget to pick up his items. There was also one on the other side. There he is. Do we have? Barely, but it should be good enough. Only thing I hope is that he doesn't fall down the cliff with his drop. I do find the walking on snow. Ah, that is the guy in the orange over there. That I saw earlier. Um, anywho, uh, the snow footsteps, I find to be pretty good sound design. Like other sound elements in this game. Holy 
shit. Not sure if this is what we want already. Nope. Just wanted to make sure nothing on the other side there. Let's do that one more time just to anything here. Holy shit, that really could have been the case. I forgot, you can indeed steer your jump while in mid-air. Allowing you to reach items you would initially not think possible. Maybe that is the way we have to go. Because I don't really see any other way to get down. Yeah, we can just slide down here. Do we then get on the ledge? Yes, we do. Let's take out the orange bastards. take a little bit of patience but it will be beneficial in the long run the only thing I really <coughs> must not forget is to pick up their items so we have two guys down <coughs> that I still have to pick up their items uh, of whom I still have to pick up the items Alright, we can get down over there, two more items, then we can get back up all the way, where there were also some items, there are two ways up, by the way. Yeah, so far I actually do like the level, it really has a bit of a James Bond vibe to it, if you ask me. Another way down here. But no, not really. It looks like a climbable texture, but it is only an overhang. Here, like uh -huh. this guy, I almost forgot to pick up his items. I had it before, I think in um, the diving area where I missed an item and it was actually just... <coughs> ah, this is what I mean with this fucking weapon. You cannot jump around. with it uh, and keep on shooting uh, but I missed like a regular pickup that uh, yeah I really should have seen but it took me a long time to figure that out uh -huh. Right, but what about that wooden door in that little room at the start? Can we still get back to that? I don't think so, honestly. So that is a point of no return. I hope... Because we slid down to get where we are now. I wonder whether we can get back up. Oh, fuck me, there are snowmobiles in this level. One thing I don't like are the snowmobiles. So... We could use it, yeah, to jump through there. That's probably what we have to do. But let's do that later on. Let's first check this area out. There was... Why are you not looking on? 
knew there was like um, this locked gate in one of that control room little uh, rooms that also looked like one that you could open up if that did hide something behind it like an item or whatever then I do have a problem because I don't think I can oh oh fuck my life where did I say fuck me? That was a long time ago. Alright, we took out that guy. Yeah, we slid down here. I don't think we can get back up. So if there is something there, and in the end I noticed that I just have not enough uh, items and have to backtrack, then I cannot backtrack to that door. We'll have to reload an earlier save. Uh, which will be quite annoying. Uh -huh. Because then you also have to, if you re instead of just backtracking to the start of the level, which we could do in the uh, Temple of Sion, I think, no, in Floating Islands, a lot of levels you cannot. There are a lot of points of no return. Um, but yeah, so alternatively, if you just have to load up an earlier save. That means you have to uh -huh. uh, re every enemy from that point onwards, also uh -huh. re spawns and every item, which can be quite damn annoying having to replay the whole level. Well, you already went through it super, th or I already went through it super thoroughly the first time around. Still have to do it another time. And it's not like you can then just race through it. Because you do also have to pick up, if you want to get to 100%, pick up all the items that you previously picked up. Um, which can also sometimes be easily overlooked. It's not like I remember now where every item was that I picked up up until now, the uh, initial time, initial run. So that maybe takes a little bit less attention than the first time around, but still it will be 85, 95% the same attention if you have to replay the level to get everything to 100. All right, so this guy, we need items. And also from the guy, uh -huh. where was the other guy? Fuck me, there was another guy that we shot. Or that was the guy lying over there. Yeah, I think it were. No, it's the guy over there. Alright, can we walk that ramp? It looks to me. Ah, that are the, I think, walkways that I saw earlier. Probably nothing there. I don't really see a way to get there. But it, it looks too steep to walk, this ledge. But uh, we have to figure it out. I don't see any other way to get there. Unless it is, it's probably a return path. Check it out. Ah, nice. We can walk here. All 
Alright, this looks like a boss arena. Do we want to check this out now? It's quite big. Or do we want to first check it out over there? Let's first check it out over there. And not forget to pick up the items of the guy down below. Man, this is a bigger level. Than I was expecting. Uh -huh. Oh, no, 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 Lara. Oh my god, those guys are so annoying. They are so incredibly annoying. Because they basically... They do a lot of damage. And they basically... Um, Warp towards your location. No matter where you are. Uh -huh. But they I don't think they can warp where we are now. So we are now pretty in a good spot. But in a previous level. I think the Tibetan foothills. It was super annoying. They just kept on crashing into Lara. And killing her instantly. Even if Lara was on an incline. That went pretty damn well, comparatively. Wait, do we want this one or a small one? Let's take a small one. <sighs> Big medipacks, I always feel like I'm wasting health because I always have some health left and it replenishes full health. So anything you have left, you're actually not making use of in the, from the Big medipack. Wouldn't surprise me if a second sucker pops up. He didn't leave anything, right? a pretty cool vibe I must say ah this is where the guy was uh -huh. ah, and this is the um, where we were supposed to jump through with the scooter so we can also just get there by foot So I really, I think we pretty much cleared out this whole area now. We did the below section. We can just go to that area with the big pane of glass that we shot out. <coughs> and nice that my eye fell on this one. Uh -huh. Could have easily been overlooked. We cannot jump that one. So you would have jumped with the scooter onto here and then get into here. Then get up here. We did 
did get this guy's items, right? Yes. And then jump with the scooter up there. Yeah, so you can make that jump with the scooter. Do we want that or do we just go? Buy food. I like it that they give you the option to do it by food. I'm sure there will be more uh, scooters popping up here. So is there any safe area to stand from those annoying scooters? Yeah, or maybe let's just go with what the game wants. Nah, no, I wanted to say let's get the scooter. Because if there will be scooters popping up here, I can just, I don't need to drive the other one here. I can just take their scooter. Ooh. Right, I want to be up high somewhere. Exactly what I was hoping for. Cheesing my way through those annoying guys. And we have a scooter in the correct location. Only it wouldn't surprise me if more scooters pop up. Get through here with the scooter. Or maybe by sh shooting it with the scooter gun. I don't know. It does really look like a way forward. There's a gate behind it. It's probably the level ending. All right, I will have to do a quick sanitary stop. Uh, let's also end the episode here. It's probably already quite long. And then we continue in this level. Uh, first impression was wrong. I actually really enjoyed this level. It really feels like, uh, uh, to me, it has a James Bond vibe to it. Like some kind of an old school James Bond 60s uh, villain lair Cold War uh, ring to it very nice hope you enjoyed hope to see you there and for the meantime don't forget always do keep on gaming later